Hi everyone. So today we will discuss the one of the very famous question which is based on the bit manipulation. So it is part of the algorithm where we talk about the bit algorithms. Questions which are based on the bit. Okay. So there are two important questions are there here. The first one is the basic question and we will we'll use the concept of first one in the second question. So first I will discuss this question. In this question what you need to do find the only number which is occurring odd number of times where every other element occurs two times. So that is the question. It means you, you need to find the element which is appearing only one time. Alright. How to do that? Let's quickly think about the problem. So in this question let's say we will have you can see 12 is coming two times. 1 is coming two times. 3 is also coming two times and 2 is coming only one time so the output will be nothing but the element which is coming only one time all right so what how you will find this thing there there will be different different approach will be coming to your mind so the first approach we can apply the sorting after sorting i can just compare the any contiguous elements and you can compare if they are same which is fine if they are not same then we can just check out and we can just print the element which is present only one time time complexity for sorting we need to we need to do the merge sort or the quick sort in the best possible way so the time complexity of this algorithm will be nothing but o of n log n space complexity is o of one only all right can we improve it yeah we can improve it so the approach to we can use the hash map because one very important thing whenever we talk about the count count of elements to, so you should have something in mind like hey whenever you want count i can use the map just to store the count so we can use the hash map here just to count frequency for each element now just check in hashmap if the count value is 1 then that is the element which is appearing only one time. Time complexity of this algorithm is, is nothing but O of n and uh, space because we are using extra hashmap here to store the count frequency. So space complexity is O of n. Now we have reduced from we have reduced from O of n and log n to the O of n but we increase the space here okay can we still optimize this thing can we do it in the time complexity or n and space in constant yes we can do that so the third approach which is very famous we can use the bitwise xor how to do that so let me just explain you this table in the table you can see there are two inputs a and b and right side you can see output so if you will take the XOR of A and B, if they are same, if they are 0, 0, then output will also be 0. If they are 1, 1, you can see output is also 0. If they are not same, output will be 1. All right. So in simple terms, you can say if you will take the A XOR A, then you will get the output as 0. So XOR of same number with itself it will give you zero that is the concept we will use to solve this question so here you can see examples i have written so 3x or 3 will be nothing but you can write down in the binary format 0 1 1 0 1 1 and you can just apply this table here you will get 0 0 0 which is nothing but zero so same element xor with the same element will give you zero so can't we apply this logic here Let's say we have 3, 5 and 3. So we know that 3 XOR with 3 will give you 0. Alright. And 0 XOR with that number will always give you the other number. So for example what I am saying is 0 3 XOR 3 will give you 0. And 0 XOR 5 will give you 5. We can see here I have written the example. And we are getting 5. So in this example i can just apply the xor for all the array array elements what will happen 12 xor with 12 will be 0 3 with 3 0 
टू विथ वन विथ वन जीरो एंड जीरो एक्स और विथ टू विल गिव यू टू सो विल गेट द आंसर राइट दैट इज द पावर ऑफ द एक्स और हियर सो सिंपल लॉजिक जस्ट रन ए लूप एंड टेक द एक्स और ऑफ द ऑल द एरे एलिमेंट्स एंड जस्ट प्रिंट द एक्स और इन द लास्ट दिस एक्स और विल हैव योर एलिमेंट विच इज अपेयरिंग ओनली वन टाइम आई थिंक नो नीड टू राइट डाउन द कोड बिकॉज दिस इज द कोड simply three lines of code and we can get the answer now next question which is very important actually in this question in the previous question what we have discussed every element will appear three times except uh, so no no sorry two times except only one element which is appearing only one time in this question every other element appears three times okay except one element which is present only one time so how to do this how to solve that you now how to find the number which is present only one time let us give it try so in the previous question we have seen we can apply the sorting we can get the answer but the time complexity will be o of n log n and the space complexity will also be o of 1 we can apply the hash map it will take time complexity as o of n space complexity also o of n we can optimize it can we do that yeah we can do so here i will explain you in very simple words actually okay do not go by the why i am explaining this way this is the way i just derive by myself just to explain you one algorithm by which we can get the element which is present only one time all right let us understand this thing so here we have input as 3 3 3 and 2 so 2 is present one time and 3 is present three time so what we want we want the element which is present only one time and the output will be 2 how to how we can achieve that in the time complexity of o of n only so what i will do okay let us understand with the help of example i will take two variables all right one is the one variable two is the second variable what this one will store this one will store the element which is present one time in the array all right from one you can think of one as the frequency one will store the elements whose frequency is one right in simple terms two will store the elements whose frequency is two all right so what i will do let us go to the first element now i have encountered 3 for the first time so its frequency is 1 i will store this in the one variable so 1 will have 3 and 2 will have 0 right so till this point clear now i will move to the second element of the array here i have seen hey we got 3 now 3 came second time now right so it should be present in the two variable because two denotes two will store the elements which are coming which are present two times now once we have moved three to the two we need to remove from the one now how how to remove this thing we will see the code in some time just to explain you i just i, I am just explaining you so that it will be easy for you to understand and you will never forget this thing right now 3 came to the 2 and 1 will have 0 now you will come to the third element now now we will think of third element as the because this is present in the 2 okay and we got one more time so we got one more time it means i will store it in the 1 so here what you can see here 3 is present in 1 also and it is present in 2 also what it means total frequency of 3 is 3 because here it is present in 1 it means that it is present one time it is also present in 2 it means it is also present two times so total 3 is present three times all right now but we don't want the element which is present three times right so what you need to do now if any element is present in both 1 and 2 it means that element is present three times so just remove that element from both 
right so how to remove those things we will see so here you can see i have removed three from both because i don't want the element which is present three times so just remove from both so one will be zero now two will also be zero now perfect cool now here you will come to the fourth element which is two so two came for first time it will be in the one and two will be zero in the last you just need to return one so here you can see one is having two and we got the answer right don't you think this is very simple way i have explained you so how we will achieve this thing here i i was just talking in terms of the two variables and i and i just told you how to move from one to two and how to remove the common element from both so for these operations we will use the bit manipulations we'll use the bit concept so here this is the code which i will use okay so let me explain you here there will be one variable one which will be zero in the starting there will be one more variable two which will be zero in the starting right now let's so this common is is nothing but the element which is present in both so this common will give you the element which is present in both one and two I will run a loop all right now first of all what you need to do you just need to update the two it will be nothing but two and or one and array of i so okay now for the first time let us think about the example for the first time your one will be zero for the first time your one will be zero so here you will come zero and something which will be zero only so your 2 will be 0 right because 2 will be 0 in the starting so 0 or 0 will be nothing but 0 so 2 will be 0 and what will be 1 1 is nothing but 1 is in the starting it is 0 so 0 xor with the 3 because first element is 3 right so 0 xor 3 will give you 3 so what you have seen here in the first iteration your 2 will have 0 your 1 will have 3 which is same as this one right 1 is 3 2 is 0 now we will get the common element from both 1 and 2 so for getting the common element just take the end end of 1 and 2 what it will give you it will give you the common set bits in both the number 1 and 2 common set bits means the place where it is one in both one and two how to remove from both so you need you just need to take the one and you just need to take the complement of common so it will be right so you you can say ne, say right negation of the common uh, it will just remove the common element from one it will just remove the common element from two same logic will apply for all the elements and you will get the answer let us quickly jump to the coding part just to understand it okay so we will just move to the coding part all right here here i have written the code already just to save our time so you can see i have taken two variables one and two there is one common variable just run the loop on the array and 2 will be nothing but 2 or 1 and array of i 1 will be nothing but 1 xor array of i and we'll get the common set bit in both and we'll just remove from 1 we'll just remove from 2 all right so we'll just print this one let us try to run so in this example you can see 3 is present 3 times 4 is also present 3 times, 6 is also present 3 times, 7 is the element which is present only one time and we will get the, we are getting the answer at 7. Let me just modify it. So 7, now 7 is also present 3 times, I will add 1, 1 is present only one time. So let us run it, you can see we are getting the answer as 1, answer is 1, right? I hope it is clear and uh, i try to explain in the best possible way so this is the approach i used to explain you guys 
all right because once you will search on, on the google you will get this piece of code but no one is able to explain you how it is working so i spent a lot of time on this algorithm and uh, in this is the simplest way i found so that it will be easy for you and you will never forget this code i i, I can promise this thing all right so this is the third approach. Now the same problem we can solve with one more approach. What this approach is about. In this approach, what you need to do? Let me explain you with the help of example only. So here there is variables. Okay, we have three, three, two, and three. These are the elements of the array. Just write down all in the binary format. So three will be zero one one, zero one one, two will be zero one zero. Okay, this is the thing. Now what you need to do at every position, so start from the last let's say, at every position you just need to take the summation of all the bits. So here just take the summation at the last position. So 1, 1, 0 and 1. Total sum is nothing but 3. Alright. Do the same for next position. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. You will get 4. Do same for here, you will get 0. Now, once you got 0, 4 and 3, you just need to take modulus of each of these element with the 3. So, what you will get? 3 modulus 3 will be nothing but 0. Right? And 4 modulus 4 is nothing but 4 modulus 3 is 1 and 0 modulus 3 is 0. So, this is your answer. So, this M is nothing but your answer. You can see 0, 1, 0 is nothing but 2. And we got the answer. Don't you think this is very simple approach? Right? So, here how the code will look like. You just need to run a loop. Okay? For all the, all the 32 bits in the array. And for each bit, what we are getting? We are getting X. X is nothing but 2 to the power I. Alright? 2 to the power I and just run the loop on the array and for each element each element of the array take the end with the x and wherever you see one let's say you just need to increment the sum and in the last take the modulus of sum with three and you will get the answer as response this is the variable i used so i can explain you with the help of code here i have written the code let me comment out our first method this is the second method which I used okay so in this method what we are doing you can see we are running loop we are getting the okay two to the power i just taking the end with and and whenever you are getting not equals to zero that means it is one only so we'll store in we'll just increment the count of sum and modulus with the three and just update the response everywhere and we'll print the response in the last. Let us run it. So you can see we are getting the one. Let me just modify the array just to make sure that it, that it is working. So now we should get eight as the answer. Perfect, right? We got the eight. So these both the approach will take off and time. And the since space we are not using anything. So space will be of one. All right. So we have discussed these four approach. And uh, if you like my content, please like, share, subscribe my channel. And if you feel anything is not clear, any approach you feel which is not clear, please comment out. I will be happy to help you out. All right. Thank you, everyone.